returners. I'm Captain Eddie Castlin. Welcome to my shop. Glad you closed the gate. There's some varmints around here. I mean, I seen cats out there this morning that, well, I'm not a shooting man, but I'd get a gun and shoot them. They big cats. Man. Oh, hey, I want to talk wood turning. Got a couple of things to show you. Got a couple of things to talk about. But there's one thing you got to do. And you know what it is. You got to watch. Now, I've told you before that guys have sent me things, some really nice ink pens, um, a money clip, a few other things. It's a sample of their work, and they want to share it with me. So I figured if I get a sample of their work and it looks really good, I'm going to share it with you. And I got this end from Ken Schwartz out of Kings Island, Georgia. Yeah, Ken sent me a little something, and he said, here's the deal. He didn't send me anything. He sent it to management. Yeah. If y'all think that's the best way to suck up, go for it. <laughs> it really is. This is me. See that? That's me in a younger day. And it is part of a purse hanger. Kind of got this. I don't use the purse. I have a purse, which is a never mind. Okay, this sits on the table and holds up a purse. Yeah, and then when she's done with it and you're ready to leave, she picks it up, rolls up into a little ball like that, and drops it in the purse. That's critical. Now he sent me two of them, and he put my picture on both of them. Don't know what he means by that, but hey. It was a nice gesture. I really do appreciate it. Management's going to add this to her collection of things that she's got for me that kind of hang out there and, well, it reminds me of her. Yeah, I want to show you a couple of pieces. Okay, now, I was at a, a club meeting. First time I've been to one of those in over two years since that thing. But I went to a club meeting, and I heard a guy in the audience, and he asked about a shiny finish. No, here, i got to back up and get the story right, otherwise they'll become looking for me. Okay, the guy said, why doesn't that piece have a nice shiny finish on it? And the guy doing the gallery says, well, the nice shiny finish is not preferred by the upper galleries. So they don't do a shiny finish. Are you doing stuff for upper galleries and I don't know about it? I thought the deal was you would turn wood, make it into art, and give it to your friends and family to show them how much you love them. Isn't that the way it's supposed to go? Is upper end galleries included in your... I didn't think so. Okay. So somebody might have misspoke. But this deal of the soft finish is where it's at. So I went looking. And I found this in my collection. It's got a soft finish on it. See that? And it's been on the table and had fruit in it. See the stains from the fruit? Okay. But this sits in the kitchen. And this is the first piece I've turned, ever. Wow. 17 years ago, I turned this. No, more than that. 19 years ago, I turned this. I'm older than I thought. Man, that's a bummer. Okay, I turned this. This kid, this pattern and the guide and all came out of a Wood Magazine article. About a wood turner, and he described the whole process and how he got into it and all that. And it was really nice. He told you how to lay up that three ring section in the middle and put it in there. But the important thing was, and I'll get back to finishes in a minute, he explained that it's got to fit together properly because you can't force it with clamps and ropes and twines and jigs and rigs and all that other stuff to make it go together. He is absolutely right. 
just for venturing onto segmented pieces. If you put your segmented pieces together and you put a band of tape around them, and I use that blue painter's tape. I put it down a layer my, and I got one on that. Uh, if it don't fit, it don't fit. Adjust the guide and cut a whole nother ring. My deal is, if you cut one for fit and it don't fit, you see if it goes through the round top of that garbage can in your shop and you throw it away. Why? Because you don't want to do a piece with pieces that are not properly fit. You don't want to sit there with a block and a sandpaper and all that. Cut something scrappy but hard. Scrappy but hard. Make the ring. And when you're sure your template works, then you go to work on a good wood. Now, that's what I did here. I spent more time making sample pieces to see if I could get me a this has got 16 to a, to, a, to a ring if I could get me a good fit and then when I glued it together I could actually hold it in place with duct tape or painters tape but I put a band on it and strapped it and I waited about a week and then I glued them all up and I waited about a week and then I turned it the whole letdown is turning it because everything else takes so much time did I really want that far off course? Yes, I did. So let me get back to it. This has got a soft finish. This has got the early edition of OB Shine Juice. OB Shine Juice. I'll show you this. This is one third denatured alcohol. They can call it methylated spirits in the other parts of the world. One third boiled linseed oil. That's a product you buy at the grocery st at the paint store. Don't make it buy it and boil linseed oil and one third of a clear shellac now it's hard to find clear shellac and the deal is <clears throat> it's really not all that clear but if you can make a four pound mix and if you google it on your on your internet right now four pound shellac it'll give you the instructions on how much how many scoops to put the what don't make a whole lot you need four ounces total and that'll last you a long time you put all three of these items in a squeeze bottle I use these ah, it was here a minute ago I use these bottles that look like ketchup squeeze bottles that you put on your dining room table I got the same thing I get them from Harbor Freight and I put it in there and then when I get done squeezing it I put a mark on it at the level that it is when I finish. Why? Because next time I pick up the bottle, if that alcohol is evaporated and it will drop down a little bit, I'm going to put a little alcohol in it. The shellac won't drip, drop, and neither will the ball that lints it all, the blow. But the alcohol will go away, so you got to refresh it a little bit. Now, I put the blow on it, shine juice on it, and I buffed it in with a paper towel on a machine. I let it set a couple of days and I buffed it off. Paper towel. Then I put another coat on. Yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. After three coats when I was buffing it, it was shining like you won't believe. It really had a great luster to it. Really good. But, and I knew it, that was based on the oil and the shellac. And the oil was always going to be there and the shellac was going to harden up. So it wasn't going to stay shiny, 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 shiny. But I could have improved that with a varnish, a solid coat of shellac, a, well, pretty much any kind of finish that you'd have in your shop for putting on wood. That's what I would put on it to keep it bright and shiny. That's what I used to do. And a couple of years ago, I ran across a guy now you understand since I had this stroke I can't remember names I think his name was Trout but I can't be sure but he was doing a demo in Waco and he said I'll show you how to use CA as a finish I know I've told you this story before but six jaybirds in the front row killed it for everybody else in the audience with isn't that a lot of waste isn't it doing this thing can you shut up and let the guy do his de demo he did a great demo, even with the minute, and he convinced me that I could go home and put a CA finish on something. But I had to pay close attention to what he was talking about. So I came back and I did some pieces. You see the shine on that? 
Boy, that's got to shine on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Here's the problem with this piece. See that? Yeah, and then we do this. And you see that? Yep, you do. Okay. This had a soft spot running through it. And I put it on a machine and I hollowed it. Got it all shaped up, wrapped it in a towel, dropped it in a bag of shavings, came back the next morning and look at that. Got to thinking about it. You know, it really doesn't look bad. I can squeeze it between centers, spin it back out, sand it about 600, put some color on it, which is a red, and it might come out in a nice looking piece. Except for, where is it? It's there. There. See that? The acne of the wood. All right. I might get. I might get licensed for that. Okay. All right. Here's the deal. When I got all that done, I was trying to decide what to do for 